name is Carlos Ruiz. I'm an IT specialist, work here at DLA headquarters uh, for the FEDMAL program. Uh, Hurricane Maria was, uh, uh, was ugly. Um, it was something that we, I mean, we had, you have to experience a hurricane to know what's coming. Uh, it's something that really puts some worry into you at the moment, you know, knowing that something is coming and, and I don't know, thinking, is it gonna hit the island? Is it not gonna hit the island? Is it gonna miss us? You know, I've been to several hurricanes while I was living down there and uh, many of them missed the island just before they got to the island. Just not this way. From the moment we saw it, we knew it was gonna come through the island and, and it, I mean, it kind of gives me goosebumps, you know. I'm glad I wasn't there, but at the same time, I wish I was because, you know, I got my mother, I got my mother-in-law, my brothers, uh, my sister, and they live on the eastern part of the island, real close to the coast, so we know what's coming. You know, everybody loves power on the island. The minute a little wind blows, you know, that's the first thing that goes away, the power. And, uh, you know, uh, I, that's, a, that's what I told my mother, you know, the day before we the, the storm hit, I had a conversation with her because she was very nervous and anxious, and I was like, Mom, you know, you need to calm down, uh, you know, say your prayers, and, and, and just ask for, you know, comfort, because that's about as much as you're gonna need right now. When you get up the following morning, the highlight, the, the whole island is gonna look different than what you're looking at right now. We, we live close to the Caribbean National Forest, the Yunque, the rainforest, and there's a lot of vegetation in the area where she lives and stuff, even though the house is made out of concrete. The whole place was just a mess, and I couldn't talk to her because the power was gone, cell towers were gone. So I didn't really know what happened other than what I saw on the news. We we're blessed that our family have good houses, you know, concrete homes and stuff, but some other people were not as lucky. It was good to see the LA uh, providing help in whatever way they did. Uh, uh, my coworkers, you know, some of them have been aware of what happened and they have approached me and, you know, asked me about what's going on and how's the family okay and all that. Like I said, just trusting that it, that it will be. That's what I tell them. I say, I'm just waiting for the end, for the end, for that phone call. So they, they have been very supportive. They've been very supportive. Sometimes we had to be prepared for the unexpected. And sometimes we had to expect the worst, even though we want the best. Like I told my mother, you know, in a storm like this, you know, it's going to be ugly, and, so, so, and you don't want to hear that, but you have to prepare sometimes for the worst, you know, just in order to do your best. I think that's the reason why some of the people have been able to survive and, 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 and take this load and, and walk with it, because they have prepared for everything. So, and that's what we all should do. The character of our people is, is the last thing we lose. Uh, living in the Caribbean, you know, it's... it's, it's it's a special place, not only on the island, our island, the rest of our, the islands, you know, you know, uh, uh, what was it, Barbados, what was hit, or Barbuda, I think it was, uh, the Dominican Republic, Cuba, you know, our island. They, they have been hit by many storms in the last years, and they always, they always come through. Our island is not going to be the exception of it. You know, I've seen the videos of how people help each other down there, and it is amazing. I'm really proud of it being born in that little island. Because so that Maria is not gonna take the best from us, which is our character. You will always find us smiling. <laughs>